don't rush is my theme for today or was my theme for today as I moved through my day beautifully making all kinds of small steps toward um, some larger things that I'm working on and several times today I thought of like pushing myself but reality is I spent many 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 hours working on several different things and I thought today ugh, some of this stuff just takes so long one of them was just having something to do with digital currency and I'm like see this is why digital currency is a bad idea and I'm listing all my reasons why and all of that but this was my first real real interaction with digital currency and so you know it's interesting like I posted yesterday we have that contrast and you know what you don't want so then you know what you do want <laughs> you know so it's it's really interesting because I mean Bitcoin is like at fifty thousand dollars a share now so I was just like speculating earlier today about like digital currency and then I ended up having to try to convert digital currency into another form and it was just not going well and I'm thinking this is all wasting time I mean I spent probably two to three hours trying to figure this out at least and I, and I a part of me felt like it was such a waste of time and then at the same time I kept thinking this is new and anything new takes time to fully learn and understand and so it was kind of like in between I wasn't allowing my energy to get too upset because at the end of the day it's always a learning experience it's always this learning curve and so I really felt like because I never really had any I mean I don't know I didn't know good or bad I mean there is a lot of speculation and stuff about whether digital currency is going to be good or bad for society or whatever um, and now after today I kind of have my own ideas about it when I wasn't a hundred percent sure um, either way so and then last year when I tried to understand Bitcoin I was like what <laughs> they have a very detailed thing on their website but you know it might be the kind of thing you might have to just dabble in and just kind of dive in and just start doing to try to figure out either way um, I did learn a lot today about what I don't want when it comes to digital currency which launched desires of what I do want so this will be very interesting how this all unfolds um, as we move toward that because last year Bitcoin was like seven thousand dollars around there and now it's at 50 <laughs> and I said it'd be real funny if like <laughs> all this preparation for Bitcoin and then there's so many other uh, digital currencies that are coming up now especially in the past year and it's just like skirt you know what I mean like because this Bitcoin thing has been in preparation for quite some time so anyway there's a lot of changes there's so many changes so it's, it's just be really interesting how this all unfolds um, I do have my own ideas about it now <laughs> um, but we'll see we'll see what happens with all of it <laughs> anyway um, one of the other things I was thinking about today is something that popped into my mind about when I was younger and this need to kind of rush things when it comes to how we learn right like if we're not happy like in a job or we're not happy it could be anything. As I remember when I was younger, and anytime I talked about going back to school or I tried to talk to someone else about going back to school, and by, and by school it, it could mean college or vocational training, um, there was always, it was always met with, oh, how long is this going to take? You know, how long is it going to take? Like if you're in like, if you're in a circumstance where you're unhappy, like let's say a job, and you feel like, oh, I, I don't, I didn't get a skill in high school, so then I need a skill now right and the question was always like how long does this take you know um, and I always kind of felt like does it really matter <laughs> you know what I mean because I'm like in, in three years say it takes three years three years you can have a new career or three years you can be miserable 
you're not working toward anything. Or five years, you can have a new career. Or five years, you can be right where you are because you don't want to learn anything. Or in 10 years, you could have a new career. Or in 10 years, you could be right where you are, still miserable and un unhappy because you didn't want to move toward your goals because you're thinking, oh, it's going to take too long. But what does that mean? It's going to take too long. I'll tell you what takes long, being miserable and happy, that takes too goddamn long. So if we, if we could think more in terms of, um, you know, just little small movements, you know. Even like when I started going back to college, I had been out of school for like 20 years. And I was always an academic. But you don't know how you're going to readjust to new things. So uh, I took uh, an accelerated class in the summer. So I was like, I don't want to just dive in and... You know, it was fine. Like I said, if you already have a a, a back, uh, like if you already liked school and were a good student, you know, it's it's just more of the same. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't really have that hard uh, adjustment. But I forgot math. You know, so uh, what I've been doing is taking everything but math. And every semester, they're like, oh, you know, you got to take algebra. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't remember no algebra. I'll take that at the end because I can't graduate without it, right? So. <laughs> I'll get all my credits and I'll have to take some stupid math classes. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to have to take it back to fourth grade math because that's as far back as I remember. I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and I know very little when it comes to percentages and fractions. I don't remember all that stuff. I remember learning it. I can tell you what grade I learned it in. I don't remember all that stuff. I haven't used it. <laughs> so <laughs> I went to the dollar, tro dollar store and got a bunch of those little kitty books that I got when my daughter was little. <laughs> <laughs> to relearn, uh, to relearn math, like, uh, yeah, basic math, because if you take it in college, they'll, they'll have some, and like community colleges will have basic classes, but if you take it, then uh, you got to pay the same tuition, so I was like, no, I'll just relearn it, it's just elementary school math, it's, you know, from what I remember, very easy, because I don't remember struggling through it, I just don't remember how to do it, so I went right to the dollar store, and I bought like five different grade school books that's five dollars and I'll relearn the math that I forgot from elementary and middle and high school bam so <laughs> how long does it take I don't, you know what is it, you know what does it matter <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in this life for the long haul so um but yeah I just kind of thought of that because <sighs> even if you don't think of in terms of like school how long school will take sometimes you know, at least me being impatient and stuff, at least in the past, I was not really impatient anymore. But when I was younger, I was always impatient, you know, you tend to think like, how long is this going to take? I don't know. How long does your life take? Your life takes 70, 80, 90 years, you know, maybe longer. <laughs> That's how long it's going to take. Okay. It takes as long as it takes. <laughs> Life is a journey, not a destination, right? <laughs> so, anyway, that was it. I just, I had a, a wonderful day today. I had a lot of fun um, creating, and also, uh, I learned something yesterday, and it was, it was uh, visual, it was realized today, and that was putting things in your vortex and th and then realizing some of them. And it was like a, a night prayer that I typed up and I was like, I want to say this to myself every night. And that was exactly the day that I had today. It was beautiful. Um, I spent a lot of time creating, setting foundations. And then I also spent time um, realizing some of those, which is always so much fun, right? But uh, yeah, so it was it was lovely. So that's why when I came home, it was like, ah, oh, this digital currency crap, you know, Um it was still like at the end of the day, you know, these videos are so helpful for me and yeah, at the end of the day, I am putting or connecting the pieces together that I'm learning from moment to moment, from day to day and feeling really excited, really inspired. Um, I love watching all this energy like right just unfold be before me and I also love the emotional stability that I have now as a result so last year a little bit before that I started learning about um, emotions and energy um, really diving into emotions 2020 2020 yeah 2020 I knew a little bit 
um, but really 2020 was the year for me to be like diving head first into emotions and how our emotions work because let's face it there was a lot of emotions going on in 2020 um, I feel like it's gone down I know it has gone down because a lot of people have learned from that whole experience right and not that it's over but it's either made you become stronger or for some people I don't know for some people it's kind of like continued but I do see a lot of people that have gotten stronger in a variety of ways all different all different levels of strongness and it could be like realizing that that the news um, is too much negativity you know too much negativity there's actually one news station I saw I think it's on channel 9 and it's called like positivity news I was like that's the right idea girl and um, young black girl doing some positivity news thing you know which is wonderful it's like and this is the kind of thing like if you watch the news all the time and you see nothing but negativity you know someone stepped up and said you know what I want to be a part of the opposite of that because the world is so filled with beauty and wonder and positive things of course if we you know tuning in to negativity is is interesting and it gets people going because it's so much emotion but it's not healthy in the long run so a lot of people have noticed this and you have these wonderful things like positive news coming out of it or people just saying you know what I ain't watching the news no more. <laughs> or people limiting or putting parameters around uh, how much news they watch, how often they need to check in and find out what's going on. Um, I have my own ideas about how much I absorb, um, how much negativity in the world that I absorb. And I've had to, to find a way to, um, you know, I, I like what works for me. So <laughs> maybe I'll do a video about that separately. Um, but I really, really, really like what works for me because years ago I realized this was not a new realization for me. But many years ago I did realize that there's too much negativity on the news and I cannot hold space, nor do I want to hold space for every single negative thing that happens all over the planet. So for me, I have certain kind of not really rules, but um, practices that I abide by which work for me. But I think it's a good idea for, for everyone to evaluate um, their emotions and their feelings because it's 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 something that we live with and it's something that that can uh, make us move toward our goals or not it's something that can build us up and help us become strong or can keep us down um, and make us weak you know but if we learn how our, our body works our, our our mind works our emotions work how the law of attraction works which the law of attraction is our vibrational state and how we attract what we are we do not attract what we want we attract what we are so that's why it's so important to understand how our emotions are responding to our environment because it's not we will we might attract things we don't want into our lives you know so anyway I don't want to get too far off the subject but yes yeah, so a really um, great day today just just watching the law of attraction unfold um, by fully realizing some of my goals and also putting more things into the vortex so and the vortex is like a figurative word for like let's call it your wish bucket <laughs> so yeah wonderful beautiful blessed happy and joyous day today and I'm going to um, have a wonderful night so this is Cherokee make your habit strong right now my habit is the law of attraction <sighs> more to come signing off see you tomorrow